In this video, I'll be showing you how to create an awesome aura effect using Filmora. It's super easy, and the results are amazing. So let's dive right in. Alright guys, here's the clip I'll be using to create that awesome aura effect. The first step is to roto brush our character. To do that, select the layer, and duplicate it, by pressing Ctrl plus D. Then, hide the bottom layer for now. Then, let's use the roto brush. Go to AI Tools and select Smart Cutout. With the brush tool, start drawing your selection like this. You can use the erase tool to clean up any unwanted areas. Once you've made your selection, head to the settings panel and click the button to start the process. After that, you can adjust the edge feather and edge thickness to refine the cutout. When you're happy with it, click Save. Now that we've perfectly roto brushed our character, then we need to duplicate this roto brushed layer as well. So I'll quickly do that like this. So this duplicated layer will be our top layer, so let's hide it for now. Next, we'll work with the middle layer, which is where we'll apply all the cool effects. But before we dive into effects, we need to adjust the colors of the clip. First, let's turn it into a compound clip. Just press Alt plus G, then give it a name, and hit OK. Now, go into the compound clip. Then we need to remove the current colors, and turn everything to white, so we can blend in any color later. To do this, head to the Color tab, choose Curves, and drag this point to the left, until the clip turns completely white. Next, we'll add a color overlay. So you can use a solid color, texture, or even a video overlay. I'm going with a solid color. Head to Stock Media, select Solid Color, and pick a color you like. I'm choosing this one, and adding it to the timeline. Now, we'll blend the overlay with the clip. Go to Image, select Compositing, and change the blend mode to Darken. Then, go back to Color and fine tune it, until you get the look you want. I'm going for a nice cyan tone here. With the color in place, Let's add some effects. So go back to the main timeline. First we need to remove the black background from the middle layer, so that the bottom layer can show through. For that search for Remove Black BG in the Effects panel, and add that to the middle layer. Then you'll see the black area disappear perfectly. Now, let's create the Aura effect. Go to the Effects tab, choose Video Effects, select Distortion, and select Color Solution Effect. Then, add it to the middle layer. Once that's done, go to the Effects Settings and drag Color Solution Effect underneath the Remove Black BG effect. Now you can tweak the settings as needed. I'm setting the animation speed to around 50, distort to 100, and reducing the size to give it a trippy look. I'll set the glow to 65, and the range to 40. For an extra boost, I'll add another Color Solution Effect and move it below as well. This time, I'm setting the speed to 50, distort to around 50, and size to 0, then increasing the glow to 100, with a range of 25, and that's how we start building the aura effect. Alright guys, now you can see we've got this cool blue and white mixed aura effect going on. Next, let's add some glow effects to really make it pop. So head over to the Effects tab, select Boris FX plus Light, then choose BCC plus Glow Edges effect, and apply it to the Effects layer. Now, let's adjust the settings. Start by selecting Glow, then crank up the brightness to 500 for a bright, glowing aura. In the Edge settings, set the Edge Brightness to 15, and the Blur to 10. With that, we've got a nice glowing edge effect like this. But we're not done yet. Let's add some Glow Rays effect. So go back to the Effects tab, select this BCC plus Rays effect, and apply it to the same effects layer. So in the effects settings, bring the brightness down to 50. Then head over to the shimmer section and set the amount to something like 35. You'll see it adds a cool glow ray effect with a nice texture, giving it a magical feel. All right, we're almost done with the effect. Now unhide the top layer to see how it all looks together. So you might notice an outline around the character. 
If that happens, you can fix it by adjusting the threshold setting in the remove black BG effect. I'll set it to around something like 65, since I plan to add some animation later. Now, let's take this effect to the next level by adding two more additional effects. First we're going to apply a color burn effect, to give this aura effect a nice bloom look. So go back to the effects tab, and search for color burn in the effects panel. Then add it to the effects layer. This effect gives the aura a richer, more vibrant feel. You can tweak the settings as you like, so I'll set Eclosion to 15, and Intensity to 0.4. Also you can adjust the colors using these settings like this. So for color, I'll reduce the red intensity to 0, for keeping that cyan glow. Now that we've got a blooming look, let's add one more effect for a soft glow. Head back to the Effects tab, search for Soft Glow, and apply it to the effects layer. In the settings, I'll adjust the glow color to 60, set the glow value to 40, and tweak the glow range to 20. Alright, now the effect looks fantastic like this. Finally, let's add some animation to bring the effect to life. Go into the compound clip, and bring the playhead to the start. Then select the layer, and go to the scale setting. Then bring the scale down to zero. Also create a keyframe here. Then move a few seconds forward, and change the scale back to 100. After that, go to the keyframe panel, select the last keyframes, and apply a curve, or ease out graph for smoother animation. Now we've got a nice zoom in animation like this. For the ending, let's add a fade out effect. So go to the transitions tab and apply this dissolve transition at the end of the layer. Then I'll set the duration to around 40 milliseconds. Alternatively, you could create this fade out effect using the opacity settings if you prefer. And that's it. That's how you create an awesome aura effect using Filmora. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video.